Good evening, everyone. How y'all doing tonight? I want to thank you and welcome you to our hilarious Father's Day comedy show. And I want to say happy Father's Day to all of our daddies, granddaddies, uncles, husbands, baby daddies, step daddies, sugar daddies, <laughs> big daddies, and pop pops. In other words, happy Father's Day to every man in the house. And yes, I did say sugar daddies. You know we got a couple of y'all up in here. You know who you are. The ones with the big bucks, the millionaires, the thousandaires. Sugar daddies, raise your hands. <laughs> I guess most of y'all wanna keep it on the low because you might be up in here with the wrong sugar baby. Then I know we have several sweet and low daddies up in here. You know who you are, sweet and low daddies. You're the daddies with the real sweet personality, but your cash is kind of low. <laughs> Raise your hand, sweet and low daddies. <laughs> and then we got the equal daddies. You know who you are, equal daddies, AKA tight wads. Y'all got money, but you never want to spend any on us. You always wanting us to split the check equally. <laughs> equal daddies, raise your hands. <laughs> then we got the splendor daddies up in here. Splendor daddies, you know who you are. You're the daddies that don't have any money, totally broke, but the ladies still love you anyway. And we ain't gonna say why because we're in church. <laughs> Splendor daddies, you don't even have to raise your hands. Just give us a nod and a wink. Shout out for the Splendor Daddy. <laughs> Last month, I went to the doctor, and he had the nerve to ask me, Miss Johnson, does anyone in your family suffer from mental illness? And I was like, no, we all seem to enjoy it. <laughs> we like being crazy, we from Camden. <laughs> Don't have much of a choice. <laughs> I tell you, I'm going to wipe this microphone off one more time because you know that virus is still out there. Maybe not scary COVID, but that kind of COVID is still out there. So I'm being real careful. I'm still wearing my mask and everything. I'm being real careful because I'm not fully boosted. I mean, I got one or two shots, but how many of y'all are fully boosted? How many of y'all got y'all 10th booster? Raise your hand. <laughs> right now, I don't even know where to go get a booster. Back in 2021, they were giving out shots on every corner. Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, McDonald's, everywhere. I got my last booster. I said, give me an order of fries, a happy meal, and a Moderna, okay? <laughs> Put my arm out of that drive through window and got my last shot. <laughs> but, I'm, but now, you know, I'm still being real careful because, you know, it's still out there. And we really went through something in 2021 and 2020 the isolation, all the craziness, even though there were a few advantages in being isolated. I was able to take online courses, and in 2020, I was able to finish 10 books in one week. And trust me, that was a whole lot of coloring.
A lot, a lot of y'all know that I recently turned 70. OMG. And for the first time in my life, I've begun to feel old. Not because of my few aches and pains, because thank God I'm in pretty good shape for 70. But I've begun to feel old because my autistic son, Tony, recently turned 50. Now, anytime you got two generations of AARP members in the same household, you begin to feel some kind of way. <laughs> y'all remember when y'all first turned 50 and start getting those emails? <laughs> start getting those emails from people like Hover Around Scooter, <laughs> Miracle Ear Hearing Aids. Acorn stair lift, <laughs> walk in bathtubs. But since I turned 70, now I'm getting emails from places like Shady Brook Nursing Home <laughs> or MetLife Burial Insurance. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> now, my son Tony, who's autistic nonverbal, and I have to do just about everything for him. The one thing that he used to do for me, since he got his AARP card, he refuses to do. Whenever I used to drop something, I would say, Tone, could you pick that up for mom? He'd bend right over and pick it up. Now that he got his card, I dropped something, I said, Tone, could you pick that up? He looked at me like, huh, I got my card, huh? <laughs> you dropped it, you pick it up. I'm a senior citizen just like you. <laughs> Last week, we were coming from Walgreens, having a wonderful day, walking through the parking lot. All of a sudden, my knee said, where you think you going? <laughs> wound up dropping my dollar in the parking lot. So I said, Tone, could you pick that up for my, he looked at me like, I, I told you I got my card, man. <laughs> so I tried to pick it up myself. So first I tried to bend over like this, couldn't reach it. Then I decided to go like this, <laughs> still couldn't get it. So once you turn 70, your mind gets a little cloudy. So I ended up paying this young kid $10 to pick my dollar up from the ground. <laughs>